Hey everybody, welcome to the StarCraft Shareware. Uh, and you're wondering why we're doing StarCraft Shareware? Because we're doing a very special campaign. It's a precursor campaign. Uh, and it's a bit of an oddity, uh, but there's actually six short missions to do. Uh, the demo actually has four of them, but it also has some of the intro things I want to get in and record. And also I can show you some of the 1.01 stuff. Um, well, yeah, there's some changes, honestly. And, you know, it, the demo's kind of interesting. Like, you have to, apparently, I wonder if that number still works. Someone call it and let me know. Um, but, you know, you can even go play this online if you really wanted to. Um, like, it, it actually works. Oh, apparently, no, it's, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, like, there's no CD key involved with this. This is just, uh, it's the StarCraft shareware, that's it. So, I guess without further ado, uh, let's get going then. to Chao Sara, Lieutenant. General Duke has instituted a brief field training exercise for all new Alpha Squadron commanders. The training grounds are prepared and the exercise may be initiated at your convenience. Simply press Start to begin the exercise. You may skip the exercise by selecting Skip Tutorial. I think it's good to do the thing again where there's the joke. Uh... Where uh, she's gonna continuously go? Oh, you're you're ready to go. Whenever you feel you are ready, you may select start. Yeah, I did that in my StarCraft uh, one, uh, other game. I'm still gonna do the tutorial because it is actually different in this. So. The T280 SCV is the cornerstone of our hostile environment construction and resource gathering operations. Roger that. In order to build a thriving colony, numerous SCVs are necessary. You can build additional SCVs at a command center. Now, look how weird the colors look. Like, the colors are completely different. They're like a, a kind of bluish. Um, appar apparently, whenever uh, this doesn't handle multiple monitors very well, because I'm watching it, whenever I scroll this way, it goes onto my second monitor. So, I know the default game doesn't do that. So, uh, let's go build a supply depot. To equip additional personnel, you must have enough supply depots to support them. You can use SCVs to build additional supply depots. This could be really weird. Let's move. I'm doing that, go, trust go, me. Alright, let's go, let's, let's go explore. Go, go, go. So it is a different tutorial map, I, I mean, let's like, you know, it was it's worth kind of doing. Go, go, go. Apparently that doesn't matter let's at all. Move. There's still Zerg. The base is well underway. Completion of the full mission objectives is now in your hands. Alright, so I'm supposed to, let's see, build a refinery and gather 100 gas. I need another uh, supply depot though. No, I almost lost a marine. It was a close one. So the precursor campaign is unique in the sense that it actually has unique voice dialogue for it. Um, a lot of the other... Uh, campaigns. Commander. Well, I don't know, there's some unofficial stuff that was made for StarCraft. There was, uh, I don't know, a whole bunch of stuff. This is, this is, this predates StarCraft, like, in terms of the actual lore. Uh, it's about, I think, a month before the events of StarCraft. Uh, uh, one at least. So it's at the beginning of the playlist. Um, so you'll pretty much see it. Like, I'm doing this kind of out of order, but whatever. Um, I don't know, that's, that's pretty much the interesting part about this. Uh, I, and it's one of the only ones to actually have uh, voiced campaign by people who made the ca There's another unofficial one that has voiced dialogue. It's uh, the unofficial expansion for the game, and, it, and it's kind of funny. I might do that too sometime. But that one is not canon. So it, it has to be made by Blizzard for it to be canon, apparently. That's, that's the rule. It's still, it's still interesting all the same. I enjoy it. Anyways, it's it's still like a very easy tutorial mission. I'm just running around killing stuff. Figured it was still interesting to show off like how different the map is. Like they actually did design a different map for every for the this tutorial mission, and there's a lot stripped down about this uh, version of the demo. The refinery processes raw Vespin gas, converting it into a form which your SCVs can gather. Like uh, before, you could actually play this online, but you can only play as Terran on like I think one or two maps. Uh, and it could only be 1v1, so that's what they did for the demo, essentially. It, was, it wasn't a whole lot, uh, but it was it was good enough. 
And there's like not a lot of units either in the tech tree either. All right, I guess that's it. I've killed everything. This ends the field training exercise. A review of colonial diplomatic protocol begins in one hour. Go, go, go. Let's move. Yay, we did it. It's, it's only like 28 megabytes. It's really, really small. But anyways, yeah, let's keep going. Adjutant online. We have entered into a low orbit over Chalsara and are preparing to descend to the planet. Receiving incoming transmission. Lieutenant, it appears you've arrived just in time. As you know, the renegades who call themselves the Sons of Korhal have been working for months to undermine Confederate authority in the fringe colonies. Well, they're on Chalsara now, and I'd like to take care of them without involving the local militia. That's where your Alpha Squadron boys come in. There are to be no arrests, Lieutenant. I hope you understand what I mean. I want this problem solved once and for all. Good hunting. Not quite the same voice actor. I think I actually can bring it a little bit closer. No, I can't. Alright, welcome to our actual first mission of this. Oops. Okay, welcome to this first mission of, uh. God damn it. Save. Alright. No, okay, I gotta load it. Okay. So the fact that um the fact that it goes to the other screen is really fucking annoying. Because I just accidentally clicked on my desktop there. I don't know, whatever, I don't care. It's really annoying. Alright, so what's our strategy here? Pro probably just Marines. I mean we could get fire bats, but it's not really an anti terran thing. We're supposed to kill the Confederates, so we're, we're playing as the baddies, so that's that's kind of interesting though. Like as I said, predates the whole thing. I like it. So I'm probably just gonna get two squads of marines and we're just probably gonna wreck everything. Let's see if there's anything different about like the stats or anything. Right now there's really nothing. Um, I, and I'm pretty sure I can't do the floating command center trick, although I might, I might try it anyways. I mean there's absolutely no... Oh yeah, you can't right click to do... You know that the, I used to right click to set rally points? Uh, that, that was actually added very, very late in the game's development. Um, yeah, you can't- I can't do that anymore. Uh... There's usually some balance things with regard to- regards to, like, hit points and stuff. However, I don't see it right now. Oh well. It's okay. So I'm just pretty much gonna mass a bunch of Marines and then we're gonna go... Knock on their- knock on the Confederates' door. No, wait, wait, they're not the Confederates, it's the, they're the new whatever. I, I don't- I don't care what they are, really. It's the rebel base. That's all that really matters, guys. You want a piece of me, boy? We also have a shit ton of supplies, so like, I, there's really no issue here. Alright, here's group one. Let's go explore. So as you can see, they've they've transitioned some of the, the the tutorial stuff over. Honestly, this is probably way too much to to finish this mission with. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And they even have things like that, like the marine. I'm pretty sure they had the guys like voice it. I mean, they worked at Blizzard at the time, I think. So it's, it, it's kind of cool. I know they did some shit with the firebat though. I know it's a marine. Kick his ass. We'll just hang out here. Actually, let's 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 get back. these guys to explore up here, just because I'm I'm go, curious go, go. to see what's on the entire map here. Sir, we've got incoming, and I'll be damned if I can identify them. Whatever they are, you must destroy them, Lieutenant. That is a direct order. Go, go, go. Oh God, I I made them leave the base. Cerberus reporting. We're here to oversee the extermination of these xenomorphs and contain the spread of any hostile infestation on this colony. 
Why wasn't I informed of this? Confederate command never consulted you. We have you. our own orders, Magistrate. We don't answer to you. I suggest we get on with this mission. Channel open. I guess I was supposed to be fucked, but yeah, I kind of built a lot of Marines. So we got we got some Cerberus Goliaths and some Cerberus Firebats. Oh god. Oh god. Actually, Marines are just off, so it doesn't really matter. You, you guys just stay at base. I'm pretty sure, no, you don't have to keep them alive. The, the game's okay with you killing them off. So we got Cerberus Firebats, and yeah. They, they, they have, they have, they have lines for this game. Oh. No, go back here. Alright. Now we lost one. Rip. So if you wanted to expand, I don't know why you would. Uh, you could totally go there. I mean, I think the base is like right here, yeah. And that's why we don't build firebats against Terrans, guys. I know, they got one in. Oh god, they're more effective than I would have ever imagined. Oh, retreat. Okay, now attack. They're getting like one hit in. Oh, I guess I could just go get more marines. Your the, the, even the SCV came and joined in the fun. Alright, what the fuck? Look like at It's like a conga line of these guys. Yeah, fuck your engineering bay. I, gu I guess I could just go attack with all this stuff. Who cares? Oh, fucking hell, I did it again. Well, I certainly hope this isn't going all out of sync. Yeah, it does this, though. Save it again. And then load it again. Every time I fucking do that, that's gonna get real annoying with this whole campaign. <laughs> there we go. It, it, okay, it, if you haven't seen this before, it, it tends to slow down whenever it minimizes, so... It ain't cool. I'm just kinda curious what's over here. Could be an easter egg. And it's nothing. You know, I, I probably should mention why are they calling them Xenomorphs. Well, I guess they didn't really name them Zerg yet. I don't really know what the official reason for that is. Alright, uh, just come back then. Oh, uh, these poor SCVs. There you go, now I have like a thousand minerals. I might as well go build. Overall, pretty simple mission. Oh, you can kind of tell, yeah, not the same voice actors all the time, but there's some new characters, I guess, you know. It, it, it was a quick thing, like, they, I guess they didn't want to include the actual campaign missions, they wanted to do something special for this and, and have its own separate campaign just for the demo. But as I said, you, you can download this for uh, the regular version of the game. Uh, but it doesn't have all the cool little intro movies and stuff like that. Well, not, not, they're not movies, but they're just intro things. Like, to screens. So that's why I'm doing the demo. Fired up. Upgrade that's the end of that one. Receiving incoming transmission. Greetings again, Lieutenant. I know you're anxious for some answers about those creatures. Suffice to say they are the subject of current high-level research. We had quarantined a number of these creatures for study, but shortly after our science crews began their experiments, all communication with the Planum installation was lost. The installation has been compromised, and preliminary scanner sweeps indicate the area is crawling with hostiles. My Cerberus unit will handle the situation inside, but we require Alpha Squadron's assistance getting there. Any other information is on a strict need-to-know basis. Jacked up and good to go. We can take cover in these bunkers if things get too dicey. Okay, so uh, this one's um, this one's actually not a part of the demo. I'm actually back in the default game now. 
Uh, so this is an FYI for you. Um, we gotta bring these guys over to the nice beacon over there. This is likely, I think that's all I have to do, yeah. This is likely gonna be, can I just stim them up there? I don't know if I should just do that. This is probably gonna be, this entire campaign is gonna be just Marines the game. I, I'm not joking, because I'm just gonna be like, why, why the fuck bother? Anyways, I'm gonna make about two packs of Marines and escort them over then. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't see, or no, how about, how about one pack? I mean, these firebats are pretty useful, but I, the thing is, they have to be... I don't know, I have to, I have to be careful, because I have to keep at least two of them alive, I think that implies. Alright, well, I mean, we have, once again, a shit ton of uh, resources and, and things like that, so... I, I think, I think we're good now. Oh, I, I, you know, I, I should also mention that you're, you're noticing how they all use the Badlands tile set. Yeah, this is the only tile set they had for the demo, the demo as well. You know, just, uh, I don't know. Oh, one of the, one of them is injured. Yes. Well, actually, I could, I could put, I could load more Marines into here. I didn't even occur to, uh, well, I don't know why it didn't occur to me. Let's, let's just put them all in here, so that, that that should be enough for defense for the fucking demo. You can also get a comsat station. I don't know. Sure, why not? Let's get, let's build let's make one of those. I, I mean, I guess I'm not getting any upgrades, so. I mean, that's that's pretty much the plan. I mean, the Goli the Goliath I could repair. Uh, that that is if I get gas. But uh, I don't know. That's that's kind of how the, the campaign's gonna work. Just, all I have to really do is bring these guys up there, and I can probably just ru butt rush them up there, but you know. It's one of those things. There we go, we got our comp set. Let me hotkey that. It's so nice to actually be able to use my second monitor. It's amazing what they actually patched out in, in, in the demo. But I'm gonna be back uh, into that very soon, because I'm just switching between the games until I get it. Oh yeah, this is one of the things that they changed. Uh, these costs, but you don't see it right now, because I'm actually using the fully patched version of the game, but... Damn it, I'll show you later. It's uh, it's it's a very very old version of Starcraft. What can I say? But not not this one because I'm actually in the fuck. I I I mean, I'm in the actual game right now. Like I'm in the uh, I have to switch between it to get into here and and do this mission because I don't know why they didn't include this in the the original campaign. They just like we we included two more missions to pad out the campaign or something. And I'm like oh okay. But but then I don't get the nice intro cutscenes and things like that. Whatever. It's not like I wanted them, Blizzard. Alright. Alright, let's make all these guys follow. Alright, so we're probably just gonna go on a nice uh, little little walk. Oh, they actually... Uh, they, they attack because they're Goliaths. Uh, well, let's, let's avoid the creep. Because that doesn't seem like a good idea. The Xenomorphs. It's just the weirdest name for them ever. Did I, did I actually pick a way where I can actually get across? Uh, it's not that way. And now now these guys need to group up again because the, the Cerberus is being retarded. Oh yeah, we can go over here. Alright. And this is just in case my other group dies. Alright, let's keep going. I mean, I, I don't have to kill anything here. So why bother? There's plenty of those that those kinds of missions later. Okay, so I guess th this brings me across to here. Oh, they have beetle lists. I mean, I, I since the Zerg aren't playable, I guess they stripped out all the sounds for that too. I'm, I'm here just to escort uh, Cerberus. Like, they're not here to do anything. Are you kidding? Oh no. If, if only I had the, the direct counter to the Beetalisks. Which I do. Alright. Lieutenant, I recommend bringing along an SCV for emergency repairs. Shut up, Cerberus. Go, go, go. Don't tell him what to do. Are they even wounded? Oh, they, oh yeah, he's lost one HP. Bring an SCV, I need an escort. It hurts. Oh. I didn't know that, but apparently we can just go through up through here. Might as well just do this all the way. I mean, I'm almost at the supply cap, so... Alright, 
Oh god. Okay, Cerberus is gonna have to help out here. You guys are dumbasses, get over here. Alright. I mean, these are hero fire bats, they have a fuck ton of HP. I don't know really why I'm not making them help out. Alright, we're almost there. Not not too much longer now, Cerberus, don't worry. You got Do I have to go all the way around? Are you fucking kidding? Oh, look. Yes. Yeah, we do. And now the game's gonna complain at me. For not having enough supply depots. Actually, there really isn't that many bases here at all, now that I think about it. I mean, there was just some creep down there and I'm just like, nope. It's interesting to note that um, these guys get stimpacked even though these ones don't because they didn't research it. Because they, 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 they are counted as heroes in this game. So I, I don't have to research it for at least half the units. Really, really, I think I could have just brought the brush, the stim brush, the, the fire bats all the way up here. Kind of replay the mission to see if I can do that. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Except they like do like. Oh fuck, they like one hit zergling. I'm not even joking. All right, stim up here. Sir, Tactiv has reached the installation. You watch things out here. We'll take care of things inside. Yeah, look what I said. Like I said it, they voiced it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I enjoy it. Xenomorphs. <laughs>